Let's talk about the four processes that affect the medication action. We just talked about the medication action, remember? Speed up, slow down, destroy or alter, replace and supplement. Now, here are the four processes that affect the action. All right? One is absorption. Well, the med has to get absorbed. So, how does that happen? How fast does that happen? How complete does that happen? Well, that depends how it's absorbed. How did you administer the medication? Orally? If I swallow a pill right now, how long will it take before it's absorbed into my bloodstream? 30, 40 minutes? Depends if I have an empty stomach or if I have stomach that has food in it. Empty stomach will go faster. So oral is gonna take longer. Can you think of something that would take less time? What do you think would be the fastest? IV, right? Boom, you're in the bloodstream. So absorption has to do with the med from the minute you put it in your body to when it gets into the bloodstream. That is absorption. And can you see how that would affect the action? Yeah. Plus, how well is it absorbed? We know that in older women, especially, vitamin B is not well absorbed if it's taken orally. So that's another piece to this. So that's absorption. The next one is distribution. So this gets it into your bloodstream and this takes it from your bloodstream and into your cells and the places where it needs to work. All right, so this is distribution. I'm getting it in my bloodstream. I'm getting it to my cells in the place, the site of action. Distribution, that's your next one. Now some drugs, um, as you know, you need a loading dose. Have you ever heard of that? I bet you have. If you've ever had a Z-Pack, right, they give you these pills and they say, take two right now, and then take one pill every day for the next four days. Why do you have to take two right now? You need a loading dose. You need to get it in your bloodstream and you need to get enough so that your liver lets go of it and it gets out into the site of action. Because some organs will hold certain drugs, the reservoirs for it, okay? So if I take a med, I've got to get it into my bloodstream, I've got to get it to my cells and to the site of action where it can work. Next, biotransformation. Big word, what I tell you about big words? Pull them, up, pull them apart. They're just little words stuck together. Biotransformation, okay? What is it transforming? It's transforming into something, it's changing. So in biotransformation, what we're talking about here is the way the drug changes once it's in your body and it's working. When drugs metabolize, when, in, when things metabolize, it takes proteins, it takes uh, enzymes in your body. And a lot of them, by the way, are located in your liver. And um, this either turns the drug on or turns the drug off. And it also determines how well that drug works for you. Now, you know, I'm thinking about, for instance, um, some opiates. Um, some people, opiates work wonderful for, and they have no problem taking them, and they biotransform very clean in their body. Other people, like me, I cannot take them. I get hives and itching, and about 25% of the population gets that hives and itching and hot feeling and just a horrible feeling, and some people even worse. So that has to do with the biotransformation of the drug in your body, the way your body metabolizes it, what enzymes you have to fully, fully metabolize it or not. That's why some drugs work better on some people than other drugs. You have to kind of switch around and find the correct
correct one. So that's biotransformation. Some drugs, when you swallow it, they're active. They don't have to be biotransformed until they're being done use, then they have to be turned off. Other drugs have to be turned on. They have to be biotransformed before they're effective in your body. Okay? It's biotransformation. The fourth one is excretion. Gotta get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, gotta get rid of it. And this happens Obviously, in all the places you're probably already thinking, urine, feces, sweat, breath, all these places is how you get rid of that drug. Excretion, getting rid of the drug, very important. So you will hear uh, us talk about drugs and their half-life, their half-life. This is how long a drug is working in your body how long it stays active in the body. Drugs that have a shorter half-life for the elderly are more preferred. Now that might not be what you thought would be best, but it is because in the elderly, their liver, you know, as we age, even if you treat your liver well, it, your liver ages and, 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 and the effectiveness of it goes down. And so drugs, can build up and you can get accumulation. Okay, even if even if the effect of that drug, let's say it's a pain med, even if they're back having some pain again, the the essence of that drug is still in the body and the liver is not done biotransforming it and getting rid of it, it getting it ready for excretion and it can build up accumulation and can become toxic. So these are the things you have to watch for. And so excretion. Now in all of this, can you see how these would affect the action of meds? So these are the four processes that affect the drug action. Absorption, getting it into the bloodstream. And again, depending on the route of administration, that can take a while or it can be very quick. And it can be complete or not so much. You know, two milligrams of morphine orally is a lot less than two milligrams of morphine IV. Think about that. So it's how it's absorbed. It's how it's distributed through the body and into the cells and the site of action. How it's biotransformed, metabolized, used in the body. And then how we get Those are the four processes that affect medication action.